Police are on the hunt and a mother is demanding answers after her son was murdered outside a church early yesterday evening. Police say four people are responsible for the shooting death of her son, 18 year old Antonio Hines. He was found with several gunshot wounds outside the West Side Free Will Baptist Church that's next to Bill Faith Park. Here are the four suspects police have charged with the murder. 18 year old Thomas Bullock, 17 year old Tyreek Leach. They're currently in custody, but 20 year old Jaquel Lawson and 19 year old Christopher Hembry could be in your area. Bullock, Lawson and Hembry all have run ins in the past with law enforcement and have prior convictions. Police are looking to your help to help locate the suspects. By their actions, uh, they don't care who they hurt uh, or where they hurt them. Now, police say they do take incidents like this very seriously, especially since it's a case involving young people. WNCT's Allie Weatherton spoke with Harris's mother. Allie, what did his mother say about this difficult time for her family? Antonia's family is having a difficult time processing the whole situation. His mother says she feels like she's living a nightmare. I was like, no, no, no because I don't raise my kids like this. It was any mom's worst nightmare. His friend came over to the house yesterday full of tears and she was like, your son just got shot. Police say the call came in around 515 Sunday afternoon. When they arrived, Antonia was already pronounced dead. Bystanders were able to give police details, which led them to Fairfax Drive, where they found two of the four suspects. Family and friends are devastated. I can't quite grasp that. Leonard Palmer showed up this afternoon to Antonio's mom's house. He was his band director at Kinston High School. A talented musician. Not only did he play snare, but he played uh, drum set and he played piano. Antonio was set to graduate next year. His mom says he wanted to join the Marines and get out of Kinston. He said it would be better for him to do something positive instead of being out here in the streets. And I was all for it. Now, all she has left of her son is a photo album with his smile. Antonio's mother says they're planning a vigil for him in the next few days. When they pick a date and time, we will pass it on to you. Allie Weatherton, 9 on your side.